Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, it's been a little while since I've done a video of spreading chicken manure or often referred to as chicken litter. So I am out here with Harness Farms as they were doing their fall harvest. I filmed this video at the end of September of 2021. Done several videos on their farm of them combining soybeans, harvesting corn, working some ground, and now spreading chicken litter. So in this video, they have two different tractors running in the field here. They have two John Deere 8310R tractors. One is pulling a northern spreader made by Northern Repair and Welding out of Ringle, Wisconsin. And the green spreader you see right here, well, they actually built that themselves in their own shop. Loading the chicken litter, they are using their Deer 644K loader. A lot of times when farmers clean out their chicken houses or their laying houses, they'll haul that manure out to a pile and they'll stockpile it, and then as soon as a crop comes up after harvest, then a farm will come out here and spread it on the field. Now, chicken litter makes a pretty good source of fertilizer. It's a pretty good source of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. Now this process has changed over the years. When I was a kid, my grandpa had three laying houses and we actually spread chicken manure in the form of liquid. We would push it out of the barn into a pit and then we would haul it in a tanker and actually inject it in the ground and sometimes spread it on top. That process has changed as chicken houses have changed now and are more built as a two-story chicken house where the chicken manure or chicken litter falls down to a bottom floor and has fans blowing on it to keep it in the dry state. And with that being dry, they can haul it out here and spread it on like this. This is the most common practice. In fact, I don't know anybody that spreads it in the form of liquid anymore because actually it did not have a lot of liquid to it like cow manure or hog manure. Now, chicken litter does have a pretty distinct smell to it, so when they do spread this on the field, it will stink up a pretty good area for several miles around. I tried to find out some information on the spreader you see here, the Northern Spreader, made by Northern Repair and Welding out of Ringle, Wisconsin. However, it looks like that company is no longer in business. I found a Google review on them and said it was permanently closed. Maybe another company acquired them and bought them out. I don't know that, but maybe somebody watching this video does know and can comment below. Now in this video I do have drone and on the ground shots, mostly drone shots as I was not standing out in the field getting too close to the spreader and getting blasted. I did get a shot where I climbed up on the spreader when they was filling it and the wind shifted my way and filled my face full of chicken litter. Which I actually benefited from because it fertilized my beard and made my beard grow.
I'm pretty sure this was an old hog confinement building here, but just look at all those moldboard plows sticking out as I fly the drone by. I think I counted nine of them total when I actually was looking early on, but that is just pretty cool. I believe these guys told me they are in the process of building their second spreader just like the green one you see here. I've already edited and uploaded the video of these guys harvesting soybeans with their two combines and working ground or disc ripping with a Fent track tractor and a Challenger Cat Challenger track tractor. I have not edited the video of these guys shelling corn yet but I will be working on that one in the near future and I will put the links to the other two videos from their farm at the end of this one. So if you've not seen them you can check them out.
that's going to wrap up this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. You got to see everything I got to see just without the smell. Anyways, feel free to hit that like button and comment below. And if you are new to my channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button and check back often. Still a lot of great farming content yet to edit and come to my channel. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.